All right, so the future is now. I didn't think I'd be recording this eight weeks ago, but ChatGPT has been one of the most powerful and craziest innovations I've seen, especially in the SEO industry. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to automate a lot of tasks, including keyword research and content creation with SEO, the best plugins to use, and how to save yourself literally hours, if not months of work, just by using what I'm gonna show you today. So first thing you need to know is, if you haven't already, sign up using this link, so chat.openai.com forward slash chat. And once you sign up for an account, you want to download the SEO plugin AIPRM. And this is really powerful. This is where the magic comes in because using ChatGPT is great, but if you don't have the right prompts, you won't get the results you need. So make sure you've downloaded that. And then once you've done that, I'm gonna show you how to do certain tasks. So the first thing we'll look at is keyword research strategy, right? So previously, what you'd have to do is go to Ahrefs or some other tool like that, pay for it, do it all yourself, spend a lot of time filtering, messing around. Um, with this prompt, you can get keywords in minutes plus all the clusters um, and figure out whether it's informational or commercial instantly, right? So let's say your keyword is SEO link building. You're a link building agency like me and you need some keywords to create content around. You can type that into OpenAI like this. And bear in mind, normally you pay like a good SEO about $250 to $500 to create a report for keyword research. This literally automates most of it in about two minutes. And as you can see, it comes in a really nice uh, table as well that's broken down by keyword cluster, the keyword to rank for, search intent, so whether it's going to generate money or just traffic, the recommended title for the article, and also the meta description. So it's kind of like Yoast on steroids, right? Previously, people would use Yoast and they try and figure out a good title or meta description, but they have to write most of the content themselves. With this tool, it automates all of it for you in a minute, and you save yourself hours of work. Plus, it's gonna come up with keywords that if you did this all yourself, you might not be able to find, right? So that's just gonna go on forever. So let's go back and look at some other things we can do with this, right? So next up, let's say you want a blog post. Normally, you're gonna pay a content writer between 50 to 1,000 words per blog post, and you might have to wait a week for that to be delivered. Now you can generate it in the space of minutes. So you can say, right, I want a link, I want a blog post about chat GPT and link building. So you just type in your keyword there, hit return. And what this is gonna do is, number one, figure out a good content brief. So like the top level keywords, long tail keywords, the header outline for the article. But it's also gonna write the content for you, as you'll see in a second. Now previously, this would take a writer ages to figure out, and the average writer, let's say off at work or something like that, isn't gonna have this structure. They're not gonna be as structured as, as this, right? Whereas ChatGPT literally doesn't just write the article, but it also organizes it in a very nice and simple way for you to understand, especially if you're managing a website and trying to scale your content up. Now, would I say the content is like the best on the internet? No, it's not that entertaining, right? It's not that interesting and it's pretty fact driven. But at the same time, could you give this to a writer? They just make some manual edits and then you actually rank the article on, on Google? Yeah, 100%. And that's what a lot of SEOs are doing right now, right? So you can see how powerful this is. And I don't think this is going to replace human writers, but I think it can make them almost superhuman. Because now instead of having like a team of 20 or 30 writers, who are producing like one to two articles each per day, that same writer can produce 10 to 20 articles per day that are high quality, that are really focused on the right keywords and the right, um, the right structure. And you can just basically scale up so much faster, right? And you can see with the actual blog post, it's created a nice introduction, it's covered some of the key headlines, and then with a bit of manual editing, sprucing it up a bit, giving it a bit of magic, you can start ranking this content pretty fast. So it's amazing. Now, obviously 
there's some elements of SEO that you can't really automate with ChatGPT. So for example, if you wanted to do link building, it's not gonna do that for you. It might do it in the future, but right now, if you say, right, build me backlinks, it's just gonna come up with some random text. It's not actually gonna build you some backlinks, right? Because that still requires some human interaction and negotiating with other websites. But for most on-page related SEO tasks, you can automate most of it. Now, if I was running an SEO agency that specialized in on-page, this would be one of the big, biggest game changers in the industry for me. Or if I had a set of websites, then all of a sudden what used to take me like months, I can do in a space of, of a week. So you can see how powerful this is. I can actually see a lot of SEO agencies in the future being like one or two people at the agency, but being able to scale really fast if they understand how to use the tools in the proper way. So there we go. If you want more tips on how to use ChatGPT for SEO, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be producing a lot more tutorials like this. And thanks for watching.